the day started out with taking this Venezia's order for Uber Eats. Man, I got to stop taking these ones that I just don't know where I'm going. I wanted to go three miles east, but instead the map took me three miles west. And so now I'm pretty far away from my preferred zone, but hopefully we can get an order you know, going back to that direction. Well, to my surprise, we actually got an order taking me back in the direction I want to go. This order doesn't look very good, $7 for almost seven miles, but this is dropping me off in a very favorable location, and so that's why I picked it up. Hopefully the order is ready when I walk into the store. Well, I went into the Little Caesars, and not a huge surprise, the order wasn't ready. And so they said it's gonna be like 15 to 20 minutes. After texting the customer, I activated myself on Uber Eats and Grubhub, seeing what is available, and Turns out I got this one for a Vietnamese place and the order was ready so that was really nice so I picked that one up. I still have the DoorDash order because I do believe I can get back there in about 20 minutes and so I'm just gonna give Little Caesars a little bit time to uh, make the order. And I got a note from the customer on Uber Eats saying that a cash tip will be taped onto the door. Hopefully that's the case and they didn't just leave that in the order notes from like the previous order. So we're about to go find out. There was no cash tip when I got to the door. Very interesting development in this Little Caesars delivery. I got a message from the customer. They asked if I could pick up some Coors Light for them at the store for, and they would give me a $15 cash tip extra. And I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. Like people have asked me this in the past and I'm like, uh, like I, I just don't know. I feel like staying activated on DoorDash and not even risking deactivation is like the most important thing for me because I need this income. It's how I make my money. It's how I make my videos. Like, <laughs> let's just not get deactivated. And so they were like badgering me about it. They're like, come on, like people do this for me all the time. Like just, it's only $8, you'll get a $7 cash tip. And I'm like, I, that just doesn't like sound good enough for me to do it. Like stop by another store just to get $7. And now that that craziness is over, let's go to Fired Pie. As I was getting closer to Fired Pie, I got this Chop Shop order. And yes, I have finally accepted three of my last 10 deliveries. And so I can actually see where this one was going. Of course, I don't think I could see it on the map because you know how it is, you can't zoom in, but I did see the cross streets and I'm like, okay, I think this one is gonna be pretty good. So after picking up the Fired Pie, the Chop Shop order, and then dropping off the Fired Pie order, I now get to see where I'm delivering this one exactly. And I really like the location. It's about a mile, mile and a half from where I want to be. All right, I gotta catch you guys up because it's been a little bit interesting. I have this Uber Eats order for Panera. I used to love this restaurant. I used to go there all the time. But recently, they haven't had their orders ready. Went in there, the order wasn't ready. I asked someone on staff and they said, oh, we don't, I can't find it in our system. And I'm like, eh, okay, maybe I should just not. <laughs> and then I got a, uh, I turned on DoorDash and Grubhub, see what I can get there. DoorDash gave me this offer for $13.50. I thought, it's not like the best, considering there's like $1 peak pay on right now. And so there might not have been a hidden tip. And I was like, eh, whatever, but it's under four miles. So I, I should probably take it. Uh, I know that these restaurants are usually pretty good. And so I just went for it. And then the first order was ready. And then I had to wait about four minutes in Burger King, which not a huge deal. I dropped off that first order and it was just $6.50. And I'm like, okay, maybe there's not a hidden tip on either of these. But then I dropped off the Burger King one and it was $8 or $8.50. Yeah, so it was a total of $15. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I'll take it. But the crazy part comes in when I get this Grubhub order for almost $20 for 10 miles and it's an order and pay. And <laughs> then I'm like, well, I don't want to accept this unless I can get an order that's going in that direction of the restaurant. So I get this DoorDash order for $15 for like eight, nine miles. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, that's only like two miles from the restaurant. I think I can do this. So I accepted both of them. And now I picked up the DoorDash order and I am currently on the way to drop this one off. But before that, I had placed the order over the phone for the Grubhub customer. And they said it would be about 20 to 30 minutes. So I'm 
probably gonna lean on like the 30 minute side, but I should be to that restaurant within 25 minutes of placing it. I think it'll take me probably about 45 minutes to do both of these orders. And so $19 plus $15, I'd say that's pretty good. $35 for this, $17 for that DoorDash order. Pretty excited about that. And now when I start the navigation to the Grubhub restaurant, I'm only two and a half miles away. Should get there in five minutes. And so yeah, I'm going to get there. Uh, by the time I place the order, it will be like 23 minutes after I placed it to the time that I get to the restaurant. Now getting pretty deep into the lunch shift, I wanted to make sure that I could accept just basically anything that was decent. I got this one for Walgreens and Payway. I was really, really hoping I would only have like one or two items in the Walgreens order since it was six items total. Turns out five of them are for Walgreens, and but I already shopped for them. It didn't take too long. It wasn't horrible to do that. Like, I mean, I'm getting paid $8 for the Walgreens order, maybe a little bit more. I guess we'll just have to see. And then the payway order was ready when I walked in there. So that one was pretty easy. Only like $5 for that payway order. After that stacked order, I got this wildflower order for DoorDash. Nothing too special about it other than they didn't tip very well and so most of the pay was base pay. Now I am at Walmart because I got this one, $22 for about six miles. Sure, I'll take it. Walmart has been pretty good to me lately and so I will stick with that. And hey, it's like almost three o'clock right now and so I don't think I'm gonna get anything too special. And so to get a $22 payout, It'll probably take me not more than like 30, 40 minutes. I've been waiting at this Walmart for 20 minutes now, and I have no idea when they're gonna come out with my items. I have both orders in my car, and it should only take about 20 minutes to finish off this delivery. The smaller of the two orders actually ended up being a bigger tip. The first tip was $7, second tip was $4. I think it's really nice when these customers tip. I don't know how they can tip through Walmart, but it's nice to see them. And then after getting some gas, and yes, it was expensive, $61, I am now off to Corleone's to take this $9.25 order going 5.9 miles. Not a big fan of the mileage, but I was driving back to the hotspot anyway. Yeah, I got a nice $10 tip there for $13 for that one order, and now I'm off to McDonald's. That McDonald's order was not the best because it was going to a very confusing apartment apartment complex, but it did drop me off in a very busy area. That busy area gave me a really nice order for a sauce pizza. It was over $8 for just 1.5 miles. And then after that, I got this order, $10. Let's go to it right now. I'm really excited about that $10 order. The food was ready to go as soon as I walked in. And uh, I hope I get more than an $8 tip. I mean, I'm still, happy with an $8 tip, but if there's more, I will not complain. I figured I should accept something going back to my usual hotspot since the dinner shift is about to start and it's probably gonna get really busy soon. And so I took this Rubio's order and then I got this wildflower order and I was like, sure, why not? I'll just take it. But then mysteriously, like two minutes later, it got canceled and I got a nice $1 payout from Grubhub. That's not ideal. One dollar, really? But at least I didn't have to actually do anything. One of the main reasons why I just took this DoorDash order is because, I mean, oh yes, the payout is good. Mileage, not so good, but it's going to a really nice neighborhood. And so I thought there might be a hidden tip in this. It doesn't seem like the dinner shift is in full effect yet. And so taking this nice payout while I'm waiting on a get order probably from Uber Eats. Well, we didn't end up getting an Uber Eats order, but we got a really nice one from Grubhub. And so I had to pick that one up. When I accepted it, I just had a feeling that the order wasn't gonna be ready for a while. And so when I clicked accept, it said that the pickup time was at 522 and I accepted it at least like 15 minutes before that. And so I'm like, oh cool, I can finish this DoorDash order since it's not too far of a drop off. And then I can come all the way back to Fired Pie to pick it up. Now I had to swing by Fired Pie 
and then click that I arrived and then I just had to say that the order isn't ready, it's taking like 10 to 20 minutes and then I went off to the DoorDash restaurant. The order was already ready because I already got a notification for this and so I'm like, then my plan is working perfectly. Drove that to the customer and then came back to Fired Pie. I was there three minutes after the pickup time but the order was still being prepared. I was like, okay, this was the perfect plan. And it's just because I know that Grubhub is gonna take so long to prepare their orders, not because it's the restaurant's fault, but because it's Grubhub's fault for sending me the order like one minute after the customer placed it. And so I don't wanna wait in restaurants for such a long time. I just want to pick up the order as soon as it's ready and drop it off at the customer. I then decided to pick up this Uber Eats order. It looked pretty nice, over $10 and estimated time under 20 minutes. I had no idea which restaurant this was going to, but turns out it was a sushi restaurant. Pretty excited about that because the payouts are usually pretty large on there because of the expensive food. So might be getting a hidden tip, but even if I don't, like that's fine. And then I was dropping that one off and got another Uber Eats order, this time for $9.10 for Chipotle. I am now on this Grubhub order. Payout's pretty good, mileage not too far. There was a ton of construction that I just came from to get to the order and then get from it. And uh, wow, but at least the order was ready when I got there. So really no complaints. This is probably gonna be about like a 20, 25 minute delivery. Okay, I may have just done something completely ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe I'll regret it, but man, it's so hard to pass up these huge payouts from Uber Eats. I'm supposed to be driving like 11 miles to pick up these two orders. This first one for like 12 something for like 5.5 miles. And then this next one was like almost $18 for like an additional six miles. Let's see, what is that? Yeah, about like $30. And the estimated time, it says 36 minutes. Now, do I believe that? Someone just ran a huge red light. That was crazy, wow. All right, yeah, he just ran a huge red light. We almost got into a car crash, but it's all right. Good thing I'm paying attention. Whew, that was a little scary. I doubt that both of these orders are going to be ready, but hopefully I don't have to wait too long. Well, I was looking forward to using their restroom, but both of the orders were ready. Okay, so the first one is quoting me only six minutes, 2.3 miles, I think. So that's not bad at all. Hopefully the next delivery can also be in a favorable location. Nice, so that drop off went very smooth. It's to a senior living center. And so when I met the guy, he said, oh, I thought you'd have trouble finding me in here. And so he gave me $2 cash tip. So that's very nice. Uh, honestly, it was not hard to find him at all. It was so easy. This next one, eh, not so much. So we have to drive 14 minutes. Oh, also I have to make this like seven point turn. Am I gonna make it this time? Oh, there we go. Okay, so 14 minutes, 6.6 .6 miles, not the best. Uh, honestly though, it could have been a lot worse. Deliveries finished. Uber Eats told me that I did that delivery in 35 minutes and 54 seconds. And so I was six seconds early to drop that one off. I went into the payment screen and it turns out I got $22 of base pay. I have never, never seen something like that. I thought that I would possibly get some hidden tips on these orders, but now it all makes sense to me why the orders are ready at the restaurant. Uh, I just think that they decided not to tip very well. And because they both lived so far away, like they were just having to jack up the price for the delivery so that someone like me could accept it. Now I'm at Cold Stone because I was just trying to drive back into the area with some restaurants and I got this really nice order and it said five miles, but it took me three miles just to get back to any restaurant, possibly a hidden tip here too. I was really excited about this Jade Palace order. I have been here once before and the order was ready so quickly, but you have to place it over the phone. So it's not ideal, 
but they said it would be ready in about 15 minutes. Got to the store in about seven, and then by the time I finished paying and all that, the order was ready to go. Hi, I have an Uber Eats order for Vera. Apparently they just ordered like one burger and fries and it was gonna be like a $9 payout. Now I'm on my way to an $8 payout for three and a half miles. I thought we were going to keep rolling with the Uber Eats orders cause it has been so nice to me tonight. But then I got this Grubhub order and it was hard to pass up because it's delivering to an area I want to be in at this time of night. I did have to wait about 10 minutes at Rosati's, but it was completely worth it because the payout was so massive. So I just dropped that one off. Then I was off to Subway. This person ordered one sandwich, four cookies and three drinks. So I don't know if that was just for one person and they're just, gonna pig out on some cookies and drinks or or what I don't know <laughs> and then after I drop that one off hopefully there's a hidden tip but we'll see and then came a McDonald's order which was ready like within a few moments after I got there then a Chipotle order and that one was pretty cool it was six dollars and fifty cents just those two DoorDash orders were just so quick and I loved those and that will conclude my crazy day of driving. On Grubhub, we made $88.54 over six orders, seven if you count the canceled order where I got $1. On DoorDash, we made $120.25 over 13 deliveries. A lot of the DoorDash orders came pretty early on in the day, but then at night, I decided to only go with Uber Eats and Grubhub because they had bigger payouts than DoorDash would ever offer. And then on Uber Eats, we did 15 deliveries $166.17 if you add in the $7 in cash tips. That comes out to a huge total of $374.96 over just 10.7 hours, meaning I made over $35 an hour today. Of course, I don't get to keep all of that money because there are taxes involved and other things like car maintenance and gas. I drove 160.9 miles today, which comes out to a total of 2.33 dollars per mile, which I think is pretty great. And I spent about 6.5 gallons of gas driving around today. And so that would be about $30 in gas. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you've been enjoying the rest of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.